Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are doing unit three, lesson number eight, which is on 193 of our book. This is for third graders and my name is Mary. Nice to have you back. In today's activity, we are practicing um, figuring out how much time is between two times. So that's called elapsed time. It's like the amount of time that has passed. And what we're going to do, a really cool technique to solve these problems is using a number line. So grab your whiteboard and a marker. And for this first one, we're going to start off. We're going to put 4 o'clock p.m., 4 p.m. there. We're going to put 5 o'clock. So we're trying to figure out how far it is from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock. So 5 p.m., 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. I try to space those evenly. Now this marker would indicate 4.30. This would be 4.15 and 4.45. And that's 5 o'clock, 5.30, 6.37. So from 4 to 5 is 1 hour. From 5 to 6 is 1 hour. And from 6 to 7 is another hour. So from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., it is one, two, three hours. Three hours. And you can just do 3H to indicate that. Now, every once in a while, um, I mean, pretty often, you're going to have to find out things that aren't an even uh, hour mark. So here, for example, we have 7.45 a.m., and I'm going to put after that the next hour, which is 8, as a marker, 8 a.m. And then I'll put after that 8.15. Okay, now we have to think, okay, how long is it from 8.45 to 8 a.m.? We know there's 60 minutes in an hour, right? So this will be 15 minutes because 60 minus 45. is 15 or you can add 15 to 45 to get to 8 o'clock and then from 8 o'clock to 8 15 it's another 15 minutes so 15 minutes plus 15 minutes is 30 minutes okay all right now let's take a look this next one here we got 2.17 p.m. And then we'll have 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m. We're trying to get to 7.17. 6 p.m., 7 p.m. And then after that, 7.17. There. over so you can see what I wrote, 717. So now what you could do is you could see how many minutes are between 217 and 3 o'clock and then from 7 to 717 and then all the hours in between. But because the minute is the same, we really only need to count, we could, we could do to 317 and then 417, and then 517, and then 617. And we could hop there. So we'll go, instead of hopping from 2 to 3, we're hopping from 217 to 317. 317 to 417. 417 to 517. 517 to 617. And 617 to 717. And that is one hour each. One, two, three, four, five hours. All right. Now this next one is talking about going from a.m. into p.m. So let's give that a shot. So 
remember, p.m. is our pickles and mustard time, so that's like lunch and, uh, you know, dinner. So if we start here at 11 a.m., the next hour is our 12 o'clock p.m. Pickles and mustard lunch time. Time to have something savory. And then after that, it's 1 p.m. And then after that, it's 2 p.m. We don't have like a zero o'clock. So 11 to 12. One hour. Two. Three. Three hours. Okay. This next one. Now earlier when we had stuff in the minutes, we did uh, 217 to 717, and we just hopped 217 to 317, 417, 517, 717. These are two different times, so it's going to make more sense for us to go from 11.55 just to 12 o'clock, and that'll be a five-minute hop, and then all the way to 4 o'clock, and then a 25-minute hop. And then we'll add the five minutes and the 25 minutes, and that's going to be 30 minutes, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So here's 11.55. And right here, I'm going to put 12. 12 p.m. So this is just five minutes. And then here I'll have 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. and then a little bit after 4 p.m. I'm gonna put that 425. So this hop is 25 minutes and then each of these is an hour. One, two, three, four. That's four hours. So then we have four hours and five minutes and 25 minutes. So four hours and 30 minutes. Okay, so there we figured out the amount of time in between two times. Now we're going to do something very similar. We're going to take a start time and have a certain amount of time pass and figure out the end time. So, starting with 1 p.m., we're going to go forward two hours. So, forward one hour would take us to 2 p.m., and then a second hour would take us to 3 p.m., right? So this is two hours. So then the end time is 3 colon zero zero p.m. All right. Next one, if we start at 4.15 a.m., And then we're hopping forward four hours. Well, one hour onward would be 5.15 p.m. Or a.m., sorry. And then another hour would be 6.15. A third hour would be 7.15. And then a fourth hour would be 8.15. So one, two, three, four hours starting from 4.15 a.m. takes us to 8.15 a.m. All right. Next one here, if we're starting at 4.55 p.m. and we're gonna go forward 18 minutes. Now this is again, it's close to the next hour, so we're gonna have to think this one through. If we're starting at 4.55, how many minutes is it until the next hour? Just a quick one, right? So we'll just do a quick hop to 5 p.m. How many minutes was that? Five minutes, right? Because that would be like, you can kind of think about it as like 460 is 5 p.m. So five minutes. So if we have 18 minutes and we've already used five of those minutes, what's left is 13 minutes. So what's 13 minutes after 5 p.m.? 5.13, so we've moved 18 minutes forward to 5.13. Okay. Um, 
um next one here two hours or 2 15 a.m our starting time that on our timeline we're going to hop forward an hour and 15 minutes so first let's hop forward an hour so that'll take us to 3 15 right that's the one hour and then hopping forward 15 minutes whoop, would bring us if we add 15 to see it'll bring us to 3 30. Now, normally I don't like to, to add directly to the numbers like that because it's not based on 100, it's based on 60. So that'll just bring us to three. You know, like setting up a traditional style. Problem like a little bit confusing. So 3 colon 30 a.m. Next one here. We're starting at 11.55, and we're hopping forward two hours and five minutes. So first, you, you could do this really more than one way. You could do the two hours first, and then the five minutes, or the five minutes, and then the two hours. Let's do the two hours first. So 11 a.m. So one hour after 11.55 a.m. is 12.55 p.m., pickles and mustard, right? And then, Second hour would be 1.55 p.m. So there's our two hours. And then five more minutes, boop, brings us to two o'clock. Because five minutes after 55. So two o'clock m. Alrighty, now we're going to just keep going with the same idea, but now we're trying to find the start time. So rather than going forward in time on our timeline, we're going to be working backwards, okay? So what's the start time if something started, three hours happened, and it's ending at 4.15? So here I'm going to have 4.15 p.m. I'm gonna hop back three hours, hop back one hour, that brings us to 3.15. Two hours, that brings us to 2.15. And three hours, that brings us to 1.15, still p.m., we haven't crossed over the 12. So three hours before 4.15 is 1.15. Okay, next one here. If we're at 2.45, we're trying to figure out what happened 15 minutes before that. Kind of like uh, 2.45 minus 15, right? Which would bring us to 2.30 p.m. Okay. Next one, if we're uh, ending something and it's 11.50 and we're hopping back two hours and 35 minutes, let's hop back one hour, that brings us 10.55, another hour, that brings us to 9.55. And then 35 minutes, 55, so this is the two hours. And then this is the 35 minutes. Um, 55 minus 35 is 20, so 9, 20. AM. And then last one here. Hopefully you've tried one of these on your own so far. Okay, so if we're ending something at 3.42 a.m. And we're trying to go back an hour and 20 minutes. Hop back one hour. That's 2.42. And then hop back 20 minutes. So minus 20 from those minutes. 
and you're left with two twenty two. Yep. All right. So let's try a couple word problems and then you'll try some on your own. Uh, Loretta left her friend's house at 3.45 p.m. She had been there for two hours and 20 minutes. What time did she get there? So just the same thing that we've been doing before. She left, so she ended her visit at 3.45. And she had been there for two hours and 20 minutes. So hop back two hours. So that's uh, 2.45. Hop back 1.45. And then 20 minutes, 1.25. p.m. Try these next ones, you know, on your own. See how you're feeling about it. And then stay with me if you like to. Oh, it's a little brighter there. Okay. Berto spent from 3.45 p.m. to 4.15 p.m. doing math homework. Um, and then from 4.30 to 5.10 doing social studies homework. How much time did he spend? So now we're trying to figure out the amount of time. So first, from 3.00. 45 to get to the next hour which is four o'clock that's 15 minutes and then to get to 4 15 that's another 15 minutes so so far he's spent two bouts of 15 minutes then from 4 30 4 30 to 5 10 so from 4 30 to 5 is 30 minutes and then from 5 to 5, 10, 10 minutes. So here we have 15 plus 15, which is 30. And then we have another 30, which equals one hour, right? Because it's 60 minutes, plus 10 more minutes. If you wrote 70 minutes, that's also correct. Both of those, they're the same thing, right? 70 minutes or one hour and 10 minutes. So one hour and 10 minutes. All right, try the rest of these on your own. See how you're doing. Um, if you need any help, come see me if I'm your teacher or your teacher if you have a different teacher. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye, everybody.